everyone. Have you ever heard about Sun Zhengcai? Sun Zhengcai, as a former Chinese politician and high-ranking regional official, has been brought down by the current anti-corruption campaign in the recent days. He was believed as one of the most shining political stars in the Chinese politics behind the generation of the current president Xi Jinping. But the downfall of Sun shows us that nothing is impossible. So in this time, we are going to have an intensive research on studying his case. We we'll try to elaborate some factors behind and figure out some solutions on reducing corruption as well as precautionary measures for any further possible high-level corruption cases in China. In the first part, we will briefly go through Sun Zhengcai's personal background. In 1988, Sun Zhengcai joined the China's Communist Party and in 2006, he was appointed by the former Premier Wen Jiabao as Minister and Party Secretary of the Ministry of Agriculture. And he became the first and the youngest ministerial level leader of China uh, by the age of 42 at that time. And in 2012, he got a further promotion and became a member of Central Committee, the 18th Politburo member of uh, China's Communist Party, and Party Secretary of Chongqing Municipal Party as well. It is said that Sun Zhengcai might have a greater chance to become the China's Premier in 2022 among the sixth generation of Chinese leadership. However, he was removed from all his positions abruptly before the 19th Party Congress in this year because of violation of party discipline and corruption as well. So what actually happened to him? And we will see it uh, in the foreign parts. Investigation report conducted by the Central Commission for Discipline Inspection shows that Sun seriously violated party discipline and regulation, who was described as careerist and conspirator. Regarding the types of corruption he has committed, has included huge bribes and abuse of power. He took huge bribes like an enormous amount of money and expensive gifts for himself and family. Other than that, he was depicted as lazy and inactive, a corrupt and degenerate. He even exchanged money for sex. More seriously, he leaked confidential party information. Sun was removed from his post in Chongqing on the 15th of July. On the 29th of September, he was removed from the party along with all official titles and sent to the judiciary for criminal prosecution, which used a serious description with rally with six sentences, such as shaking a political stand, granting special rights, and leakage of confidential information. The battle why Sun commit corruption can be divided into two aspects. The first one, seeking for more political power. As we've mentioned that Sun was born in a family of farmers without any political background. It was necessary for him to commit corruption so as to attract senior officers' awareness. In fact, Sun didn't undergo lots of political issues. So, he didn't have enough political experience and sources to compete with colleagues. Soon decided to place Wen Jiabao, the former primer of the State Council of People's Republic China, by selling land to him with an extremely low price so as to gain her trust and be seen as a successor. Afterwards, Soon was nominated to be one of the 17th Central Committee members. Besides, According to what senior officers who were close to Sun in the past said that, Sun is a realist who always placed much emphasis on his own benefits. Therefore, in order to gain more acceptance from senior officers, Sun used to sell plans on Beijing Sun Yin to them with low prices and commit corruption. The second factor financially supporting his lavish lifestyle and the expenditure of his family. As a matter of fact that, although Sun had been appointed as a member of the Communist Party of China, the salary of his job was not enough for him to afford his daily expenditure. Sun was discovered by some journalists that he was constantly wearing different expensive watches, which he was impossible to afford his prices which with his salary. There is no wonder that Sun commit corruption so as to gain overwhelmed amount of money to support his lavish lifestyle. Furthermore, Sun's daughter was studying at Cornell University, which is one of the top universities in USA. This required Sun to pay a huge amount of school fee for his daughter. 
Moreover, Sun was responsible to be a breadwinner of a family consists of his mistress and three illegitimate Charles in Chongqing. Without committing corruption, Sun was impossible to bear these financial burdens. So Sun Zhengchai's corruption case was considered as serious as the corruption cases of Zhou Yongkang and Bo Xilai. So putting aside the political factors that got him uh, arrested, his uh, behavior seriously caused huge and negative impacts on the state, the public, and on himself. So Sun's uh, behavior was disappointing and he jeopardized the image of the CPC. He irresponsibly destroyed people's faith in the government and the CPC. Sun was found indulged with luxuries enjoyment rather than upholding his duty. In various events, he was caught wearing 10 different expensive watches. He even uses his power uh, to gain benefit for himself and also his relative, which is unfair to the public. His wife, who worked in the Chinese China Ministry Bank, was also involved with other corrupted officials' wife. Soon have has mistresses, and he even exchanged money for sex. So um, all of this behavior was um, morally unacceptable to the public. Since corruption case completely destroyed him. Before he was seen as a future political star that, um, who has the potential to be the next successor of Xi Jinping. Um, he graduated from a very popular school. He got master and doctor degree. And then um, when he was a Chongqing high-ranking official, he has a lot of contribution and achievement. But however, after he got prosecuted, we can found that all his Before discussing how to prevent more corruption, it is important to know the purpose of the arrest of Sun Zhong Tai, or in a larger sense, the anti-corruption campaign under Xi. Is the campaign purely political struggle for Xi's power, or is the campaign the fight against corruption? What does combating tigers mean? With high-ranking officials like Sun Zhong Tai getting disciplined, will the anti-corruption campaign ultimately cover those untouchables, say the, pre the president, the premier, and the political. Sun abused his power to benefit others. The power did not come from office or from the government. He was able to commit corruption because he had personal links with people supervising him and people working under him. Hence, when he abused his power, people around him did not report the cases but joined his corruption. This case showed the danger of using personal power. To eliminate the use of personal power, the relationship between officials should be clearly stated in law, and official power, which is power written in law, should be emphasized. Not only should such relationship be separated, an atmosphere where this separation will be respected and followed should also be promoted. In conclusion, unwritten laws need to be banned effectively. With senior officials like Sun and Zhou Yongkang disciplined, will the anti-corruption reach more and higher ranking of officials? If the campaign fails to punish or create a system that leaves no untouchables, the campaign is not a true success. If the Chinese government is to build a model similar to ICAC, then the president of China should also be held accountable like the chief executive in Hong Kong. But will Xi create a system that will limit his political power? The arrest of Sun showed many perspectives of the anti-corruption activities in China. Power struggle, legal loopholes, unwritten laws, and efficiency of the campaign are exhibited. Despite the success, the campaign still has a long way to go before achieving true success. The 19th National People's Congress finished after Sun got arrested, but new anti-corruption still failed to address problems like the privileges of the untouchables, the limitation of media, and lack of reporting channels. But will they take measures to solve it or leave it unanswered? The anti-corruption in China has a long way to go, and it's up to PRC to prove their sincerity in tackling corruption.